On every single car that I have and that I've gotten in the past, one of the first things that I always do is tint the windows. And although right now it's a little bit cloudy out and we do have some rain, so it's looking pretty dark, but on a normal sunny day, this thing is crystal clear. I mean, even the back window, even though they come a little bit dark, just dyed like that, that's how the glass comes, it's still very clear. And that's why we're gonna be getting it ceramic filmed. The most average type of film out there is carbon film, but usually when people get carbon film, it doesn't block off heat. The only thing it does is yes, it blocks off 99% of the UV rays. And of course it gives you that privacy that you need, but it doesn't block out the heat. And that's why I always get ceramic film, although it's sometimes a little bit more expensive. For a little bit more, you're already paying two to $300 to tint your whole car. Might as well get it ceramic film. And the reason for that is because the whole interior on the Tacoma is black. So we already know that during the summertime, it's gonna get really hot in here. And having that ceramic film on all of the windows is gonna be a lifesaver. And you can also get clear ceramic film on the windshield, which I don't know if I'm gonna be getting yet. But let's go ahead and hop in the truck. Let me show you guys how it looks before. And then we're gonna go ahead and install the tent at my buddy's shop. All right, man, so what are we applying on here today? All right, today we are applying a ceramic window film. This is a 5%. Uh, comes in about five different shades. This one has a scratch resistant coating on the inside. It's basically developed for heat rejection. So uh, I also offer a carbon film. It does the same thing, just a lot less of it. Um, but this is a better quality. Uh, it's gonna come with a lifetime warranty and again, it's just made specifically for heat rejection So like with my lighter films a 70% on the windshield You won't you won't see the, the tint and you won't feel the heat and, and this is the edge of that that uh, rear door So I'm gonna come down and cut about a, uh, I want to say I want to uh, maybe like an eighth of an inch past that past this line And that's how I get my pattern So like I mark it right about there And then I cut that Come straight down, and then right here curves. And that's it, and you get your pen. All right, you guys, and here it is, fully blacked out. And this is actually the next day, so it's a little bit sunnier out today. So it should be looking a little lighter, but obviously with the 5%, you won't notice much of a difference at all. Here's a comparison from before, and obviously here it is now. It is looking much darker, especially in the back on the rear window because it was already dark black but now you guys can see that that type of black is matched with the top right there this is obviously full black and this is almost looking darker just because obviously it's glossy and this is kind of satin or matte and there it is guys fully blacked out tint this is the beginning of the blackout process and let's go ahead and see in the front it's not very noticeable because it's black on black interior. With those dark windows, you can almost not even see what's inside. And there it is, guys. And speaking of inside, let me go ahead and show you guys how that's going to look. So from the inside, this is how it looks when it's obviously tinted. And this is how it looks stock. I mean, the front window is totally just crystal clear. It's not like it had any type of tint like the rear windows. So this is the difference between 5% and normal. And one thing that I did notice because I did drive this at night, it is very dark. At nighttime, it is very hard to see from this, especially because it's so dark on the interior of the car. And at nighttime, especially on some darker roads, it's very hard to see some other cars coming. But obviously on the main roads and when you're driving around throughout the rest of the night, it's not a big deal. But through some private roads, it may be a little more difficult to see through the tinted side. But there it is, guys. And, I, and it hasn't been very hot lately, but... I mean, you can still feel, like if I put my hand here, I can obviously feel some heat. And if I put my hand here, it, I actually don't feel anything. It's like putting your hand up to a plastic versus putting it up to a window. I can definitely feel the difference. And on my last Tacoma, I also had ceramic film. And I actually made a video on how it makes your car about 10 degrees cooler when you have ceramic film as compared to not having it at all. So there it is, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys can please help out the channel by giving a quick like and a subscribe, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.